So the Ocean Policy Course is really unique because there's actually um, not very many opportunities across the United States for graduate students and early career professionals to um, go into so much depth about ocean policy. So the Ocean Policy Course is really cool because we um, go into depth about certain topics that perhaps aren't easy to, to find in normal academic programs. This is our third time offering the Ocean Policy Course through the Center for Ocean Solutions. Uh, it's a really exciting course because we get students from a variety of backgrounds, including uh, natural science and social science. Uh, some of them have a lot of governance and policy experience, some have very little. And so in two weeks, uh, we have just a uh, boot camp basically on marine policy, getting up to people up to speed on how marine policy is conducted in the United States and how they can play a role in it. Part of what we're trying to do with this course is lift the veil of what does it mean to link science to policy. So we cover a range of some of the biggest laws that impact our ocean and coastal regulation, um, from the Coastal Zone Management Act to the Marine Mammal Protection Act, the Endangered Species Act, and we really hone in on national ocean policy at the federal level and what all this means and how uh, students can begin to think about the research that they're doing and how it might link to the agency implementation and activities under these laws and under these regulations. In 2011, I had the opportunity as a legal intern at the Center for Ocean Solutions to take the ocean policy course that year. The course is predominantly situated at Hopkins Marine Station, which is the oldest marine station on the U.S. Pacific Coast. And as you're sitting there learning how to address the most uh, pressing challenges that we have that face our ocean, you are um, you're able to look out on what is a really inspiring conservation success story. And so I think what that allowed me to do was to take that inspiration back to law school to um, make sure that I was, was able to do that to the best of my abilities. So what we try and demonstrate with the course is really kind of this real world problem solving piece, which is the main basis of a lot of our leadership development activities that go on at Ocean Solutions. Um, and we try to put the students in the shoes of policymakers, but also all the other stakeholders um, that are involved in the conversation when it comes to ocean policy. In terms of the course design, uh, we try to take an active learning approach. And what we mean by that is that we try to move away from lecture style uh, or a reliance on lecture style teaching um, and go more towards uh, activities that involve more group discussion, more group project work, um, work that looks at case studies, um, that makes really good examples of the types of processes that we're trying to um, encourage conversation about. For me, it was really exciting to teach uh, a case study that I've been working on developing with Lindley Meese that is focused on um, abalone management in Haida Gwaii, British Columbia. By developing this case that's really a real world issue, around abalone management, we were able to introduce the students to real complex, wicked problems that are happening uh, in the environment um, around ocean resource management. So one of the key takeaways I hope the students have when they leave the ocean policy course is that they realize there's no one way to have their science make an impact. That at least by spending two weeks with us, they can understand the complexity and realize when they're using words like, I'd like to influence policy, or my research could be applied to management, they know what they're talking about. And they're actually able to make those linkages directly to the agency, or the statutory requirement, or the regulatory requirement, or the political or social context within which they're doing their research. The main value of this course, honestly, is measured not only in the substance of the class, but the the people, not just the people they're bringing in to speak and actually lead the workshops, talk about their level of expertise, where they are in their field, but your actual colleagues, your peers in this in this course is just absolutely incredible. You have people of various degrees from your master's students to your PhD students, postdocs to law and policy. It's it's just absolutely incredible. I think that the Center for Ocean Solutions does a really good job of um, letting you feel empowered when you leave and like we actually can apply all of this knowledge that we've learned to do awesome things in our own community. Well, I think one of the biggest takeaways was definitely the value of teamwork. I have not had too many opportunities where I've been able to interact with such a diverse group, and 
it's so obvious the benefit of seeing multiple perspectives on an issue and that really leads to the best ideas and the cool innovations and I think by the end of the class going through that process we all come away more hopeful about this, the future and the, how we our ability to tackle these tough problems and I feel really energized now to start tomorrow on working on those. <laughs> it always is touching to me and exciting to me that I'm, I get to interact with such amazing people knowing that they're taking what they learn from each other and from the instructors and that I learned from them and we're all going forward and using that to actually affect real world change and improve outcomes for the oceans and for people that rely on them for their livelihoods and, and for their well-being. Thank you.